I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Where am I? Not the time. Come on, you mongrels!
Oh, there! It's here! Oh, God. Taya, call me to you. Where am I? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm here! Lead me to you!
Are you there? Right here, my love, right here. Please, you. You. you have me. Oh. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. his Bible, the tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me.
I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For well, now, it doesn't matter. How are you feeling? Awful. And with a few more words? Angry, frustrated, useless. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Sika. A witch's apprentice? She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me, and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet, people to find, and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go, one way or another. I will. I swear it, Mala. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close.
On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? Him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Bloody demonologists and their shabby rituals. through our bane rings. They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Something's concealed. We can fight them together. We did it. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. You get better. Things will get better.
you feel that? It's close. They always end up mucking around with black magic. Always. That spectre, it's heading for that corpse. Watch out, Spectre Possession. Stay put. Oh, legions crawling the Spectres. It's not just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion. Or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting.
hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. Andrea, will people be able to tell that I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Nice place. Wolves and specters aside. Don't you have wolves and specters in the highlands? Aye, but I was of the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Bad news. The bridge is out. We'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm gonna make it.
I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not going to make it. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. Quick mist, spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. A ghost made this, and we need to find out whose.
wrong girl. You're back! Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad, but no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? How do you know we're safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. You're exhausted. And surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No. No. It is a nightmare. Nothing more. 
Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. This explains the quick mist. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. There are maggots in the bed. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Ben's things. Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damn. Done work. Yes, still disgusting. He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Quickness is thicker than a Scots Dragoon. The smell's almost as bad. Wait, that's, that's better. And a little terrifying. I see fine.
Did you feel that? It's close. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. This one, all right. I summon you now. Losing your edge? The show in Drast, the Toki Minkurst. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lynn. We don't give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What did you do? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you!
and Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So is Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. something spectral nearby. been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating... Jacob was eating Ben. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. Yes, something's here.
They never learn, do they? get to the court. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral states. Thinks it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. But us, they're here. Did I just do the wrong ritual? Force the ghost to reveal itself at the right ritual. You're not Jacob. Yes, still disgusting. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? I'm Thea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. Beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. 
What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought he'd acted willfully, planned it. Tell the truth. We thought I'm a liar. No. Jacob is a kind and godly man. Pure and true, always. He's the very best of us. And yet, though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. These godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened, Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, 
You woke hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. Benedict lingers. End his suffering. Face the truth. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whispers said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. My sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banish her to your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. 
You murdered your friend. The man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. Food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it.
killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. That's not settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. For soon, you'll release me. I'll have my assent. I hardly want to let you go. I know, but you must. Can I? I am a shadow, caged and fading. You are still here? Still you. We could... Jacob Lynn's essence called to me. I knew it wrong, but I desired it. There lies perdition for both of us. I cannot abide what I have become. I don't want to abandon you, but I must. So be it, my love. We'll reclaim your body. I'll have your assent. I swear it. <laughs>